right. Grab your smokes, grab your joints, grab your drinks. Come along for the ride. Shout customs. We're rolling. We're going to do some, uh, I'm just going to give you a quick look at the uh, 49 shoebox Ford we're working on. As you can see, yes, I cut out that ugly firewall. I am going to replace it with some new sheet steel. We took out a big, big chunk of the floor. Here's a, uh, here's a piece here. Pretty kind of ugly looking. It's like an onion. It has layers. It has many layers. Layers, you know, layers, layers. There's a big old chunk inside the truck. And it's got even more layers. But, just thought I would uh, give a little update on that. Because, uh, camera girl, she fixed up the motor mounts. I forgot, I forgot to mention that. Here, let's get rid of that. Got rid of those ugly bars that were underneath here and cleaned them up. And put a gusset here and a gusset over on this side. They're good and strong. They're not going anywhere. They'll work, they'll work fine. Now we're gonna just jump over. We got, uh, this is the, uh, this was the clear cast uh, cab. I've got it all prepped. It still needs just a, it's got a few, it's got a few little spots. I, I'm pretty picky, there's some spots here. There's a little wrinkle here. Oh. Oh, what do we got? What do we got? Ding, fries are done. Ding, fries are done. We got the oven going. You can see I've got the, uh, I've got my powder coat gun sitting here. Uh, oven, that's why I got the little fan going. Let's have a, let's have a look at what's in the oven. How about that? These were, uh, these are kind of prototypes. I'm not worried about marking them up with my pliers. They are, they did stick to the, ooh, ooh, imagine those on the motor. Look at that. Oh, don't, hey, that's hot, puppy. You, you don't want to touch that. Check that out. That's, all. There, oh, there's one little mark there, but it was sitting there. I'm just going to set this one down here. Let the camera get a good look at that. Oh, them are gorgeous. Gorgeous. Yeah, I don't. I don't worry about when a powder coat. Yes, the backs. I, I just put them on a little tray in the oven. Even, and I'm not worried about grabbing them here with the pliers because you know the powder coat's pretty tough. To tell you the truth, it does leave a little impression. But look at those things. Aren't those things gorgeous, man? Zoomy pipes. Zoomy pipes. So those were prototypes for. Uh, the hot rod over yonder, but we'll look at that in a few minutes. I want to want to talk some more about the oven is off now. I can unplug this uh, little exhaust fan. There we go. So yeah, so basically I'm prepping this. This was the clear cast body, and it was a debate between you know the the one on the chassis and this one. As you can see, I've created kind of a stock looking uh, firewall and basically it's uh, I'll show you inside it's just an aluminum sheet you know what you would use for your your soffit or your eave troughs or whatnot and uh, it's it's all hot glued in um, and yeah I just wanted to create it kind of a stock looking one uh, now the other car you know that I've I actually cut this kind of like this I cut it like that uh, I figured I would produce a stock seeing how I'm gonna pull some molds off of this body that's why I have the uh, also have the wheel well flanged with aluminum and that's just so I can lip over and kind of get a good grab with the fiberglass but uh, yeah, so this one, I, I put the four pieces, you know, the roof, the trunk, and the two sides together. And, of course, again, I had issues uh, with these tails 
on the side pieces, had to relief cut them. I had the issues with the the backs of the doors, like God, they're like three quarters of an inch. And this time around, instead of doing relief cuts inside, like see, there's a little gap. I gotta put some filler in right there, just a just a gap. Otherwise, you know, resin will go in there and it'll lock in and just be a a, a pain in the butt to get my malt, my yeah the positive mold off of it but uh, so this time what I did is I actually cut these right along here right along that seam actually cut it there with the zip cut press these corners in or pulled them out hot glued them uh, it it was just a lot easier a lot quicker yeah I think those the, the uh, good molds good good parts but uh, you know try just trying to get it all right getting things to fit you know, getting this piece to fit to this piece, it's a kind of a bit of a pain. I still got some some finessing to do in this uh, in this corner because basically I, I kind of want to make like basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here, you know, probably to here, across, back. I do two sides. I do a front and kind of up to this point. It'll be a four piece, kind of a four piece split mold uh, to recreate these bodies. It'll be nice because, you know, kind of like those same way as I did the GT40s. It'll be like, you know, you can mold it inside there. And then if you actually want to cut the doors out and hinge them, you can do that because you're not going to have to worry about, you know, the door not quite, uh, not quite fitting right. But, uh, yeah, so that's where we are on that. I got her all in uh, three coats of epoxy primer. Um, I'll probably go over it again and I'll do some more some more filler work, some more touch-ups, smoothing a few little things out just because I'm just, I'm, I'm picky. <laughs> I don't know why. I just, I, I don't want things to be perfect. I just want them to... Yeah, I just don't like little things that hinder uh, the, the finished process. The, put it this way, the better I make this, the better the parts will come out later on down the road. You know, get the roof nice and kind of smoothish. Ooh, oh, I can feel the static there, man. It's grabbing the hair on my arm. Let's try these. Look at that. Look at that. They're already, I can already hold them. I can already hold them. So these were actual prototypes for the RC34 coupe uh, that's going to uh, Stephen across the pond. And uh, let's go over and have a look at that car because I, I haven't done much. I'm going to tell you, I haven't done much. Uh, more small stuff uh, than anything. So like I say, these were prototypes. Uh, that a friend of mine, his name is Jeff, thank you very much Jeff, he prototyped these ones, there you go Jeff, look at that, look at, they, we chromed them, we chromed your first, your first set, and then yesterday he showed up with a second set, because these ones, they just, uh, they seemed a little small on the quarter scale motor, so let's go have a look, go, 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 go. Check out those pipes. Those pipes look freaking awesome. They sw they're swept back. They're uh, 3 8 tubing. So here you go. Here's a kind of a visual. So those ones were kind of like that. You know. I mean, they're okay. Don't get me wrong. They're okay. They're okay. But now that I, uh, I, I chrome these ones, I powder chrome these. I'm definitely, definitely going to powder chrome those. And, uh, yeah, I started, started, this roof had a bit of a dip. So I started putting some filler on it. I've kind of got the body sitting now uh, where it's going to basically reside. I haven't really done anything, you know, I haven't had to do anything underneath. That stuff is pretty much other than taking it apart and chroming some of the stuff. Now, 
if the camera wants to zoom in and check out these little doodads, these little bumperettes. So basically, it's all one piece here. I'll take it off. So it holds the uh, holds the grill shroud. There we go. Holds the grill shroud. It's the bracket. It's just threaded into the back into a piece of wood. This will be all blacked out. This will be fiberglass. It's epoxy to it. I'll fiberglass it to it. Uh, I just blacked out the center of the grill just so you could get a look at the the bumperettes. I made those today. Tack welded them uh, to these pieces I already had made for the the part that holds the grill shroud. And yeah, or before, just before I uh, powder chrome the uh, the prototype pipes, uh, I did that bracket. And of course, I forgot to turn on the you know the most important part to the whole powder coating thing is turn on the box so you get the you know you get the electric feed going. Um, I don't think this is gonna work. I think my rubber band is a little too small. I gotta have to get a bigger one. And the blower, yeah, the blower is not. I'm probably gonna pull this off because only hot glued on there. Everything's hot glued. Gonna need a tensioner pulley. I think that'll look cool. Just I'm gonna detail this motor. I still gotta make a, uh, you know, I don't know how I'm gonna do that. That's a little close. Gonna have to move my pulleys out. I gotta make a water pump. I gotta make a water pump go on there. Yeah, see, I can't leave that rubber band. Look, hey, the blower's not attached. We, we won't leave that on there. That was just uh, kind of an idea I had. I just kind of wanted to see what it looked like. But yeah, I was gonna incorporate the headlight brackets also to this bracket. But uh, yeah, I thought those turned out pretty nice. Those little bumperettes. I really wasn't sure what I was going to do with it. I seen some pictures of uh, some other cars, quarter scale and real stuff, believe it or not. There we go, that fits in. Uh, four bolts, I get the little fasteners. Little fasteners, hold the, the uh, bracket in. Lots of little fasteners, lots of drilling, lots of tapping. But yeah, I love those. To my buddy Jeff, I love those new zoomies. Uh, I did have to move the motor back uh, about a quarter of an inch uh, so the steering kind of cleared. This one just barely touches, but I can actually I can actually adjust the front axle uh, with these heim joints under the headers. I can actually uh, I can push the axle forward just to just a smidge to uh, to get clearance. Like that would be fine. That'd be fine. It, it wouldn't. Once these are chromed, it wouldn't even wear the chrome off because it's it's powder coat. But there's there's obviously the geometry in the steering because they moved the arc, the motor back. You know, it kind of it towed the wheels out. So I'm gonna have to play with the the steering a bit. I was gonna change that anyway because it's on this weird downward angle. Obviously, though, it works. You know, we, we, we test drove the car, so I know it works good. But, uh, yeah, a lot of, still a lot of little stuff. You know, like these bumperettes, these bumperettes, I probably, <laughs> I probably, I'll grab the little, uh, basically I grabbed a piece of cardboard. I grabbed a piece of cardboard today and I grabbed the pencil. And I kind of, I kind of drew that out. As you can see, it got, it got bigger. <laughs> oh, kind of over over time as I was drawing it, but basically, yeah, that's that's them. That's them. Actually, even the steel pieces actually got a little bigger as I was cutting them out and smoothing them, and yeah, you know, probably spent probably spent two hours, believe it or not, making those little uh, those little bumperettes. You know, carving them out with the zip cut clamping them together, you know, put the flapper disc on there, get them nice and smooth and round, you know, and then kind of scribe a line down through the center, uh, you know, take my vernier and put equal increments for the holes or, you know, kind of something like that, <laughs> you know, and then, uh, you know, 
dimpling them. Get the get the countersink drill going and yeah, but yeah, it was uh, it was a few hours, man, just to make those uh, two little bumperettes. And I probably got to make two more. Good thing I kept the template because I probably put a couple of those out the back end. You know, just uh, you know, hey, look, we've got. We've got, it's not a theme, this is tight, and that's, there's nothing wrong with that. We got the holes in the straight axle, we got the holes in the bumperettes, that actually took me, that took me a long time to get out because I tack welded it in place. We've got take the body off we've got we've got the holes hard to see for the camera oh look at that my fuel tank is leaking again I knew I could smell fuel probably gonna have to replace this there's fuel gonna have to replace this tank I've got some more fuel tanks but I've got the holes in the uh, the rear trailing arms and I will probably I will probably put holes in the front trailing arms up here Kind of keep that theme with the uh, the drilled and chamfered uh, holes going throughout, you know, kind of throughout the car. And hey, let's face it, it makes it a little lighter drilling the lightning holes in it. That's what I call them. I call them lightning holes. Yeah, <laughs> making it a little lighter. Because this car, I haven't weighed this car yet, but you know, it's. Uh, It's getting up there. It's getting up there. It's getting up there. Uh, it, now it's everybody says, "Oh, well, it's pretty close to being finished, man." When, like, you know, you know, when are you gonna be shipping it to the uh, the guy in uh, you know the Isle of Wight near England? And it's like, well, no, you, it, yeah, <laughs> you think it looks almost finished. There's still paint work to do. I still got to create a firewall, which I was, I was working on, but, uh, you know, some changes, because I had to move the motor, there's some changes that need to be made, obviously, you know, because it's, everything is, uh, everything is super tight, uh, that's just a, a piece of wood, and I'll probably fiberglass that in, I don't like how close it is, you know, to the, to the valve cover so I'm gonna cut this up a bit go across and then I'll step it all back I'll step it all back I'll make all that out of wood and then I'll fiberglass it in butter it up because I still got to come up with some way to uh, you know fasten fasten this body down and I want it to be uh, I want it to be as simple as possible I want something very clever, something where you just kind of hook the front, set the back, like maybe one, one little mini hitch pin, you know, like that's on the, the fifth scale stuff. I don't want, I want clips here and clips there, and you know, clip, 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 clip to hold the body. I want it very simple. Slide the front in, one clip in the back, you're done. But uh, yeah, well there you go. Little update with the. Uh, you know, the, the, the 34s, <laughs> uh, and uh, kind of some cool, you know, some cool, cool stuff. Very stuff, uh, it almost, I don't care, man, that looks like, it looks like real chrome. That's powder coat. That's powder coat. Uh, I love my little powder coat thing that I bought. And the powder, you know, buying the powder, you know, it's pretty cheap. You know, you get a couple pounds for 15 bucks and it goes a long, it goes a long way. Uh, when you spray it, it looks like you're losing a lot out the exhaust fan, but, and I guess you do. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I got, I got had a two pound bag of uh, chrome and I've been using it for the last couple of years. Just for small stuff like this, you know, uh, even on my, my real truck, I've got all kinds of stuff on my real truck. 
sitting out in the driveway that's all, you know, brackets and stuff like that. It's nice. I find it faster. It's faster than cleaning apart, priming it, you know, sand the primer, paint it, and then you got to wait. You know, you got to wait like, you know, 24 hours for the paint to cure before you can assemble it. Powder coat, you just kind of sandblast off your part, you know, or uh, orbital sand it or grind it or whatever. You throw it in the oven, you know, 15 minutes later, you're powder coating it. 15 minutes after that, you're pulling it out. So, you know, you're, you're in about 45 minutes. 45 minutes, you could be bolting it. You know, whether it's an alternator bracket, you know, trailing arm bracket, anything like that. About 40, you know, less than an hour, man. You're actually bolting it together. That's the cool thing about powder coating. So there you go, man. Little update, Sharp Customs. Share, like, subscribe. Look at that. Look at the young fella over there. Having himself a good schnooze. <laughs> Had to put Mad Max in the video. Yo, Max. Oh, well, it's nice to see you, uh, you looked. Had to put him in the video. He's been a very good, he's been a very good boy tonight. And, uh, so yeah, there you go. Thank you to my new subscribers. Thank you to all my subscribers. You know it. You know the routine. I love you. Peace. I'm out.